Hey guys, Matt from MWA Woodworks. And in this video, I'm gonna share five ways that you can up your game at the table saw. I'm gonna go over jigs and accessories that improve your table saw's versatility, accuracy, and safety, as well as one jig that everyone should build for their table saw. I'll also leave links down in the description for more videos and information regarding these items. Okay, that's enough yammering. Let's get to it. All right, first up, we have a table saw auxiliary fence. It turns your table saw into a Swiss Army knife. Okay, maybe it's not that versatile, but you gain so much from having your own auxiliary fence. You can easily and safely make vertical cuts on panels, you can attach feather boards for safely holding your work down, and you can make a ton of custom attachments to go in the T-track on the fence. Already, I've made spline cutting jigs, I've made an L fence, and also I've made this tenoning jig. A spline cutting jig will help you make cuts to strengthen the corners of miter joints. An L fence can really be used to make all kinds of random odd angled cuts on a table saw. And a tenoning jig helps you make, well, tenons. For instance, when you're making frame and panel doors. This tall fence can be bolted to either side so you can use the fence on either side of the blade. Now you can make an auxiliary fence to fit any maker model saw so long as it has a sturdy rip fence to reference off of and it doesn't take much plywood to get started making your fence. I have a whole video showing the specifics of this fence as well as plans for you to build your own. I'll be sure to leave links down below in the description for both the video and the downloadable plans if you want to check those out. And that brings me to number two on my list of ways you can up your table saw game, the Jessam Stock Guides. These are a great accessory to add to your table saw, especially when working with sheet goods. The rollers maintain downward pressure on your workpiece, keeping it safe from kickbacks, and they have a one-way rolling action so that the workpiece can't move backwards. The rollers are also angled in a way that steers your workpiece towards the rip fence. Now, I've been using these guides for a couple of years now, and the quality of the build and the durability is top-notch. These guides are a great addition to your saw to up the safety of operating your table saw. Okay, number three on the list is my favorite table saw accessory, the mag switch. More specifically, the mag switch feather boards. If you've never seen a mag switch before, they are these magical little blocks with a switch on top. Turn the switch on and it becomes a super strong magnet. Turn it off and it becomes a paperweight. What makes them so useful is that you can stick them to any of your cast iron surfaces, not just the table saw. This allows you to position things like feather boards right where you want them without relying on using the miter slot, which I find can be limiting due to reach sometimes, depending on the size of your workpiece or the operation you're trying to perform. You can use them as positive stops too, which I find nice when making cross cuts at the table saw. These little guys really create lots of versatile options when using your saw, and that's why they make my list. Okay, so far we've covered ways to increase versatility as well as safety at your table saw. Now let's talk about accuracy. The fourth way to up your table saw game is to get a digital angle gauge. If you're looking to get just the right bevel angle, a digital angle gauge can help. These little guys come with a button for zeroing out your gauge on a reference surface such as the top of your table saw. They also have a magnetic base, so they stick to your table saw blade and allow you to accurately read the angle of the blade as you tilt it and dial it in to the tenth of a degree. I've been using this angle gauge from Wixie for about seven years now, and I can speak to its level of consistency and accuracy in my own work. In my opinion, if your work requires really accurate angles, you should be skipping the miter saw and using the table saw for that operation, and this little gauge helps you get the accuracy you need. Okay, I saved the best for last. Number five on the list is probably the most well-known of the table saw jigs, and chances are you may have already attempted to make your first crosscut sled. A well-made crosscut sled is the ultimate table saw accessory because it improves all three elements of work at the table saw. It allows you to make cuts at the table saw in the safest possible way because your workpiece rides across the blade backed up by a sturdy fence that helps prevent any kind of kickback opportunity. At the same time, the fence helps you make accurate and repeatable cuts with the help of a stop block. Accuracy, repeatability, and safety. The crosscut sled will boost all of these things for you. If you haven't tried your hand at making your own crosscut sled yet, I have a full build video as well as plans available for building the sled you see here. I'll leave links down in the description below if you want to check those out. Alright guys, that's it. Five ways that you can up your game at the table saw. 